Hey you guys, I'm Joyce McClure and we're reporting live from Dallas, Texas to give you the exclusive spill on the Meg Thee Stallion, Tory Lanez, and Kelsey trial. Period. <laughs> You guys, I am so childish. Like, I always want to hit my news reporter voice. Like, let me know. Let me know if I really hit that hole. But anyways. Okay, you guys. Welcome back to another episode of Scenes by Joy by Joy. And we have made to Vlogmas Day 20. And for today's episode, I want to give you all my unpopular opinion about the Meg Thee Stallion, Tory Lanez, and Kelsey trial. Okay. Let me go ahead and tell y'all how I really feel about what's all been going down. Now, like many others, I have been following this case for a very long time. To the point to where it is kind of like, all right, let's, let's wrap this thing up. Let's go ahead and wrap it up. And to be completely honest, I never really just picked a side. I know it was very popular. It was very trendy to jump on Meg the Stallion's side. And disclaimer, disclaimer, I love Meg Thee Stallion as an artist, okay? I do not know that woman personally, but as an artist, I am a Meg Thee Stallion fan, okay? Let me just throw that out there because I don't need the hotties coming for me in the comments. I mean, I support the girl in her music, all that good stuff, but just like I don't know her personally, y'all don't know her personally. So I am giving my unpopular opinion as if she was just a normal person on the street, okay? So don't shoot the messenger, just respect what I have to say. All right, so let's get into it. <sighs> so, when I first heard the story of her being shot by Tory Lanez, I really just didn't know how to respond to it. Because for one, I wasn't there. For two, the story was sounding a little weird to me. It wasn't making sense to me. And I'm the type of person, I'm just not going to hop on the bandwagon because it's a popular thing to do. I'm not just going to jump on a side because it's the popular thing to do. And I'm all for protecting black women. I'm all for protecting black men. I'm all for doing the right thing. But with protecting my fellow brothers and sisters, we have to take accountability, okay? We have to take accountability. So don't think this is no, oh, she ain't down for the culture. Oh, she going against black y'all it is nothing like that i am just giving my opinion that i feel like it's valid based on the facts okay now how i have came to my verdict based on all the things that have been out there we got the shade room we got tmz we got twitter we got a number a number of social media outlets that has given us information that revolves around this case and the theory that I have came up with is that, okay, before I even come, before I even get into my overall theory, let's just back up. Okay, strike number one for me, for me personally, when it comes to this case is when Meg did, did the interview with Gail, okay? I already had my mixed feelings about the entire situation, but that interview with Gail is what kind of really made me feel like, mm, okay. First things first, I am very big on honesty. Extremely big on honesty, because I feel like at our big old age, who gonna whoop our ass? Who gonna put us on punishment? Who gonna ground us? And what kind of just turned me even more sideways is when Megan got on camera and said that her and Tori never had sexual relations. Now, I was not in the bed with those two. I was not there. I was not part of the party. But my whole thing is, is that Megan, we all pretty much know that you have had sex with Tori before. I mean, that was a given. That was out there. And to be real, as a Meg Thee Stallion fan, I don't care who she sleep with. It's not going to make me... Stop listening to her music. It's not going to make me dislike her as an artist. But when it comes to this case, it's like if you're lying about that, then what else are you lying about? Now, don't get me wrong. I'm not saying that Megan was not shot because there have been records that show, that proves, that states that she was actually shot. My issue with is, is saying that Tori shot her. And I personally do not believe that Tori Langs was the one who pulled the trigger. I just don't. Now, do I feel like he was the reason behind it? Do I feel like he's an accessory to the crime? 
yes i most certainly do but i do not feel like he pulled the trigger and with her getting on national tv crying saying that she never slept with this man it's just like sis i'm all for protecting black women but let's have some accountability how is someone supposed to believe your narrative your story when you are lying about the biggest fact that's out there we know that you slept with that man we know that and then what really kind of turned me sideways i am very big on girl code i am very big on being loyal to my friends and i'm the type of person that if my homegirl done hit that already or if my homegirl done already kind of fucked with you you off limits to me you can't even give my homegirl a compliment or try to shoot at her first and then backdoor to me and think i'm gonna give you some play so when the information came out that Kelsey and Tori was originally dating first and then finding out that Megan and Tori had slept together, that was strike number two, okay? Because you just don't do that. How are you supposed to have the hottie movement and women empowerment and embracing being a woman and all this and all that and you sleeping with a man that you know your partner was sleeping on? Like that just... And I feel like the reason why she denied sleeping with him is because she knows that us in the public, we know that. I mean, her PR is trying to work hard, but the PR is not working hard enough, honey. Because that right there, you wrote the G code with that. So let's, let's do a little bit more digging. Let's go a little bit deeper into it. So let's go to the party that I think was hosted by Kylie Jenner. Because really the information that was leaked yesterday based on Megan Stallis, that what really made me feel like, okay, I have solved this case. Let's just go ahead and give the verdict and move on. Okay, the party that occurred at Kylie Jenner's house. The stylists had made comments saying that Megan was becoming an aggressive drunk. He was already trying to tell her to go home. And the thing is, everybody is not an aggressive drunk you guys people keep saying in the comments on shade room i mean what do you expect when somebody is drinking when i is party everybody gets a little crazy no don't put that on everybody do not put that on everybody because i am very big about when i go out with my friends or we are at someone else's house guests in their home you better be on your best behavior don't be out here embarrassing me being sloppy being aggressive being rude because you're drunk and at our big old age because tori kelsey meg we are all in the same age group okay we are all in between the ages i believe of 27 29 we're all in that age group and at this point in life you should know how to handle your liquor and then at her level of stardom you should really know how to handle your liquor especially when you're at an event that's hosted at kylie jenner's house like come on meg like come on so for her stylist, I believe his name is EJ, for him to tell her like, you know, it's, it's almost time for us to go. We need to wrap this up. You're getting drunk. You're getting belligerent. Mm, that already kind of, that already kind of told me all I need to know because let's look at the facts. Megan don't mind driving the boat. We know Meg loves to turn up. We know she's a party girl. She's a Texas girl. Okay. Cause us Texas girl, we rough. Okay. We real rough. When we bout it, we bout it, baby. And that can be a lot. That can be a lot for people who are not from the South, okay? So I can only imagine, like her at that party, you drunk, you turn it up. Once Tori came, y'all was drinking even more, y'all was turning up even more, and just things start to transpire. Then also, we have to think about when this party occurred, that's when Megan was kinda at like the, the height, height of her career. That's when you had everybody talk about hot girl summer, drive the boat, hotties, all that stuff. And I have seen some of the sweetest people, some of the sweetest people change who they are when they get to a certain level of stardom. They become cocky, they become arrogant, and they try to shit on those who are closest to them. And then we also have to take into account that Megan had lost her mother, Megan had lost her grandmother, you know, as she is climbing this level of stardom. And I'm pretty sure she never just faced it. And I believe she mentioned that on Carisha Please, that she just worked through it. She told them to book her up. So she, she hasn't even had the time to grieve that. And when you're young and then you're a superstar and then you're partying all the time, sometimes you just drink, 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 keep yourself busy, 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 thinking that you're burying that pain and you're not 
facing that pain. And I think that during that time that she was so turned up, she had like some hidden turmoil that she was letting all that aggression out on top of being a star, on top of probably feeling a little cocky, she let it out during that moment. And when it comes down to, you know, getting big headed and shitting on those that's closest to you, because hurt people hurt people. And most of the time you're gonna hurt those who are near and dear to you. I think she did a personal attack on Kelsey because it was already stated that Kelsey was talking to Tori first. Now, Megan is drunk. She is drunk at this point and she has continued to drink that was stated by her stylist and he have asked her to leave. She did not go. So at that point, you know, it's just, it's just all up in the air. Tori's there, he's a star, Kelsey there, she probably know her homegirl talks to him, probably know that she's sleeping with him, but you know, she's Meg the Stallion, baby. She's Heidi Queen, all right? So at that point, I really feel like Megan was holding her nuts on Kelsey. She was holding her nuts on Kelsey. And then when I had researched, I had also saw that where Kelsey made a statement saying that Megan has a habit or a history of messing with men that Kelsey has messed with before in the past. So when you already have a track record of going behind your partner back, messing with the men that she has messed with, then walks in a guy who, you know, for the most part, whether you're into Tory or you're not into Tory, he makes good music. I mean, he's still at a significant level of stardom to where people are posting him, people support him, people will go out to see Tory. So when he walks in, and he's probably giving Kelsey attention at first, not really putting the focus on Megan, and she's already going through all that she's going through, she's already drunk, She's already going through this level of stardom where she's probably feeling herself higher cocky just with a mixture of all that then when a crowd is around because don't act like y'all don't have that home girl who don't show out when people come into the room. Okay? Let's not play like that. Everybody got that one home girl and if you don't, you have experienced that one girl that when other people brought to the room, especially men, they switch it up. So I feel like at that point, Megan probably started flirting with Tori. She probably started throwing that ass on Tori. She would probably start doing all that shit. Okay, because I have seen stuff like that unravel. And I just think because she's a superstar, she made the stallion, people do not want to come to their realization. People don't want to believe that she would actually do something like that. But you guys, she's a normal human being just like the rest of us. And the thing is, is that people are capable of acting that way no matter how much money that they have. My overall theory is that Tori, not Tori, my overall theory is that Megan was already drinking. She got the feeling herself, emotions got involved. She started flirting with Tori and Kelsey did not like that. Okay, Kelsey did not like that at all. And Megan, just by me kind of studying her personality, she's a bold person. Like they had said in the comments yesterday that her stylist had made, she went up to Kylie Jenner and told Kylie Jenner that, you know, you cool, you a vibe, because I really thought she was going to be lame. And don't get me wrong, I am not just necessarily a Kylie Jenner stan. I do like her style. You know, there are certain things about Kylie that I do like, but at the end of the day, you know, I still think the Kardashians, the Jenners, the culture vultures, is still for Courtney and what's the other one I ain't Kendall. And I'm just going to be 100 about that. But at but she's still an A-list celebrity, if that makes sense. So for Megan to be as bold and confident to go up to this girl and make that statement, oh child, Megan, Megan was ready to pop her shit, all right? She was ready to pop her shit. So I think that she started flirting with Tori, probably already been kind of fucking Tori on the low. And then once you drunk, that confidence, all that comes out. Never ever, <laughs> never ever think that a drunk man is just playing. Drunk man or drunk woman. Because really when people are intoxicated, that's when they feel like they true genuine selves. That's when they feel comfortable with saying all the things that they've been wanting to say. So, yeah. So, to just kind of 
fast forward through that, I think the night got a little crazy. I think it was hidden animosity. I feel like it was jealousy and I feel like it got to a point to where it was boiling over. Now, Kelsey, I think, cause I, I'm into astrology. Now, Kelsey is a Virgo. I know Virgos can be very structured, very in order people. They can be quite judgmental, but they're reserved. And I think Kelsey Virgo energy was just not matching with Tori's Leo energy and Megan's Aquarius energy. For one, Leos, especially Leo men, I'm a Leo woman. Leo men are very cocky, very prideful, very, you know, about themselves, feeling themselves. So when you got two girls that's low key chasing after you and you five foot one, you gonna be feeling yourself. You gonna play into that role. You gonna play into that field. So he's probably going along with it. Now, Megan, she's an Aquarius to me, now, let me just put that out there. I love Aquarius. Aquarius is probably one of my favorite signs. But Aquarius are very sneaky people. And they keep in a lot. And because they keep in a lot, they will act out to deflect the fact that they are feeling emotions. And I have noticed that in the women and I have noticed that in the men. Okay? So I think because Megan was going through all of this, all these different emotions, she just kind of, you know, wants to steal the shine from Kelsey, although Megan's already a bigger star than Kelsey. And then Tori with his Leo self, he just fueling off of it. And then Kelsey with her reserve Virgo self kind of trying to play it to the back. She's trying to hold it in, trying to stay structured, but she started boiling over to the top. And to be honest, I think that Kelsey and Megan started arguing. I think they started arguing. I feel like Kelsey felt played. And from there, a gun got involved. I think that Kelsey may have grabbed the gun and that Tori was tussling with Kelsey. And that's why they didn't necessarily say that his fingerprints wasn't on the gun. They said that it was inconclusive, which it wasn't enough evidence to really prove that he was the one who shot fire. But that doesn't mean that he didn't touch it at all, if that makes sense. That's kind of what I got from that. So when I got that information, I'm just like, Kelsey pulled out that gun. And Tori probably was getting the gun from Kelsey because he didn't want them to fall out or nothing, you know, crazy to happen, a murder or something on his behalf, okay? Because us Leos, we can be cocky, we can be, you know, self-absorbent, but we have hearts, we have compassion, okay? And I think from there, with them being drunk, the arguing, all this, the gun just pow, pow, pow. Okay? It just pow, pow, pow. And from there, Meg got shot. But I think that once the police got involved, all this got involved, that's when people, you know, it ain't no fun when the rabbit got the gun. Okay? And then the laws get called. I think once Megan getting shot, that's when... It clicked in all their heads like, oh shit, like what are we about to do? Who are we about to put this story on? And I think that maybe Megan had sobered up a little bit. She really didn't want to put it all on Tori. She really didn't want to put it all on Kelsey. But I think that it was just easier to put it on Tori because if you want to be real about it, he was the reason for the drama. Although Megan should have respected the girl code, although Kelsey could have went to Megan as a woman about the situation, it all revolves around this one man. So I feel like it was just easier to put it on him because it was so much going on, you really couldn't pinpoint it. But when you think about how Kelsey did not want to give her DNA, how she's flip-flopping her story, how she made that diss record, all this and that, I mean, I'm gonna be real with y'all, that's my verdict. I feel like Kelsey was the one who shot Megan. And how I feel like this should play out, Tori should take some responsibility. I don't know what should, what should happen to him. I don't think he should be necessarily sentenced, but I think something should happen to him because he was an accessory to the crime. Megan, I feel like Megan needs to publicly get, you know, on TV, whatever she needs to do, get with her PR, and discuss how some of the things she had said was false, and you know, she could have had a better attitude that night. She could have went about the situation better, but that doesn't excuse the fact that she was shot. I think she should apologize for the lie she have told, but let people know that be responsible while drinking, be good to your friends, and know that one decision can change your entire life. I don't think that she deserved to get shot. I do not condone in that at all, but there's some accountability on her part that has to be taken. 
You lied on TV. You slept with Tori. You messed with the man that your best friend was dating. And then all these lies, all these stories, it's just pointing to this man when, like I said, I feel like Kelsey is the one who shot Megan. It's just in like, Maybe it was a crime of passion, all this and that. I don't even necessarily just want to throw Kelsey just all the way under the bus like that. She should serve some time. But at the end of the day, I'm just like, she was enraged. Here your best friend. She done climbed to the top. You've been there with her. You've been supporting her. And she keep doing you wrong. And then she try to shit on you with a dude that you've been fucking with. Like, emotions, you guys. Emotions. I was just talking about that in the video that I posted yesterday. That women move off of emotion. Men move off of logic. And I feel like that's why Tori just been kind of playing it cool. But then he was trying to speak his truth through his music. People was dissing him. But it's hard to defend yourself when the whole world is convinced that you are guilty. And I'm always going to be the devil's advocate. I am not going to follow the opinion that is trending or the opinion that's just easier to follow. Because it's there, it's Kelsey's side, it's Megan's side, it's Tori's side, and it's the truth. And I feel like all three parties, like we're in the wrong i feel like that was in the wrong Tori should have been going between two women two best friends megan should not have been messing with her best friend man and then kelsey you don't retaliate on your best friend about a man by shooting him like you just don't do that i feel like they all were acting immaturely i feel like they all could have handled this situation better but people love the media honey people love clout people will sit up here and do those who's closest to them wrong because one, they don't want to go talk to that lady. Go talk to that lady. If you are going through something, know that alcohol cannot solve it. Party cannot solve it. Go talk to that lady. Get your mind right. And know that you can't do wrong to others and don't expect wrong to come to you. That is karma. And it's like, I really want Megan to just really be real with the public because you're going to tarnish your legacy, your reputation by just dragging this along when honestly, everybody just needs to keep it real. So I feel like, I have solved the case. I feel like that's what it is. It was a fucked up situation between two best friends behind a man. And it just got ridiculous. When you mix heat with liquor and money and pride and emotions and hurt and all this and, and that, some shit gonna go down. Some shit gonna go down. So y'all let me know in the comments what y'all think. Y'all let me know what y'all think because I feel like what I have came up with is logical. I feel like it makes the most sense. And I feel like not one individual person should be blamed. I feel like they should be blamed wholly. And certain people should take accountability on different types of levels. But I just don't think it's right just to blame it on blame it all on Tori because that's the easiest thing to do. I just don't feel like that's right because with protecting black women, you have to protect black men as well. And then you have to come to a middle ground and you just got to be real with it. Okay, us as black people, we got to take accountability. And it just is what it is. Kids make up like, I'll still love you tomorrow. Thank God nobody's life was actually taken. But accountability, you guys, so you got to look at what just makes sense. What just makes sense all together. And I cannot just be 100% team Meg when she has gotten on camera and lied when it has said in her trial she has got caught in multiple lies when i feel like that's why justin Weston went missing her bodyguard because he did not want to compromise or jeopardize that their relationship because he probably know what really went down and for her stylist for her own style, it's somebody that's on her payroll to say that she was an aggressive drunk and there was so much going on and he was trying to tell her to go home y'all Everybody can't be lying on Megan. Everybody can't be lying on Megan, you guys. And we can't just put it all on Tori. We can't really put it all on Kelsey. But Kelsey, girl, I'm gonna be real with you, dog. I feel like you, I feel like you pulled that trigger. And you know when you hurt somebody close to you have betrayed you, emotions, but we gotta get them emotions intact. So that is my spiel on the Meta Stallion, Tory Lanez, and Kelsey Cates. Now, as always, like, comment, and subscribe. Like, comment, and subscribe. And to be real, I really like doing these little celebrity little spiels. I love giving my perspective. I remember the word perspective because I promise y'all something is coming with that a little bit later. We're just waiting for it. So, yes. Um... Stay tuned for my next video. Hopefully we make it to day 21 because you guys, your girl was pulling out the hat. Let's talk about today. But I'm like, this is a trend topic. So let me just hop on a bandwagon and just go ahead and go there and put my opinion out there. So blah, 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 blah. All that stuff. So I'll see you guys later. Bye.